Okay. So, we will take a small example of that. Suppose, this is the example is taken, it is example 2, right. So, in the line 5 minus j to ohm one impedance is connected, this is star connected, this is star connected uh, load 10 plus j 8, 10 plus j 8, 10 plus j 8 ohm and this is your star connected source 110 angle 0, 110 angle minus 120, 110 angle minus 240 and in the line each line 5 minus j 2 ohm, 5 minus j 2 ohm and 5 minus j 2 ohm impedance is connected and current I A, I B, I C all if given right. So, now z star is that means, what you can do is that you, you should not be confused with this, what you can do is this all are same this 5 minus j 2 and 10 plus j 8 you add together make it as a z star right that is the idea. So, in this case your z i uh, sorry z y is equal to 5 minus j 2 plus 10 plus j 8 is equal to 15 plus j 6 ohm. Therefore, I a is equal to compute same relationship although it is line it is given we have club together right. Therefore, I a is equal to V n upon z y is equal to 110 angle 0 by 15 plus j 6 is equal to 6.81 angle minus 21.8 degree ampere. Similarly, we have derived this relation I b is equal to I a angle minus 120 degree. So, it will be 6.81. So, and I a you are what you call I a is 6.81 minus 21.8 degree. So, it will be minus 21.8 degree minus 120 degree. So, minus 141.8 degree right. Similarly, I c is equal to I a angle minus 240 degree. So, it is 6.81 angle minus 21 point uh, this we have got even 21.8 degree minus 240 degree. So, this one will be I c is equal to 6.8 and actually there should not be any any doubt or anything actually I this one I a is equal to this one that means 6.81 angle minus 21.8 degree into your this angle minus 120 degree right because into 1 into 1 this one. So, these two are added so that is why your this thing is there right similarly here right. So, I c is equal to you will get 6.81 your 98.2 degree why this is minus 240 minus uh, 21.8 degrees there just to other way you add 360 degree with this just the way you show no v v v a that v c lagging minus 240 degree. So, we add 360 you no know, other way you show it lagging that is the lagging we can show other way it is leading. So, you add 360 degree with this. So, 360 minus 240 minus 21.8 you will get 98.2 degree ampere you do it yourself right draw the feather diagram. So, line voltage is equal to V L and we know V L is equal to root 3 into phase voltage right magnitude. Therefore, we know V A B is equal to therefore, root this this also we have derived V A B is equal to root 3 V P angle 30 degree right and V L is equal to a writing root 3 V P. So, V L angle 30 degree V B C is root 3 V P angle minus 90 degree that also we have done it. So, that will be V L angle minus 90 degree where root 3 V P is equal to V L and V C is equal to root 3 V P angle minus 210 degree that is V L angle minus 210 degree this all these things in the phasor diagram we have made it right all these things are there that you are you are what you call V A B root this one V B C is this one and V C A is this one with respect to your V A N right that is your that from this uh, I am not going to the phasor diagram I mean from this phasor diagram again I have to go on top right just hold on here here from this phasor diagram with respect to that look this is angle 30 degree with respect to V n it is 90 degree and with respect to V n this is your minus 210 degree right. So, so that is your what you call that your V A B, V B C and V C A right. Now, if you make divide V A B by V B C, if you make V A B by V B C, it is V L angle 30 by V L angle minus 90. Therefore, V B C is equal to it is it, it will go up it will be 120 degree. So, V B C is equal to V A B minus 120 degree right. Similarly, V A B upon V C A if you make you will get V L angle 30 by V L angle minus 210 degree you will get V C A is equal to V A B angle minus 250 40 degree or you add 360 with that other way V C A is equal to V A B angle 120 degree right. This is the relationship. Now, balance start delta connection next we will come source is star, but load is your delta connection. So, this is my source star and this is your my delta connection right. Now, question is that 
just uh, just uh, just let me reduce the this thing little bit first for your exploration. So, if you look into this uh, this circuit that your this is my V n, this is my V B n and this is my V C n and this is my delta connector load z delta z delta z delta. So, this is a line current I a right this is line current I b and this is line current I c right and in that load phase current this is I capital A b, I capital A 2 b, this is A 2 b, I capital B c B 2 c and I capital C 2 a right. This is my your what you call my uh, your phase current right and this is my line current, this is my phase current. Now, if you apply for example, we will come to that what I am telling you, if you apply K C L here this current is coming right incoming. So, this current is I A, this I C A current also coming here. So, plus I C A and this current is your what you call it is leaving. So, it is minus I A B is equal to 0 that means, my I A is equal to I A B minus I C A right. So, similarly you have to apply K C L here, you have to apply K C L here. So, in this case line current is not is equal to phase current because this is the line current after that this this is the phase current and this is the line current. So, we have to find out some relationship between the line current uh, this is the line current phase current and this is the line current right. So, this is delta. So, in this case in this case so let me let me let me just increase the zoom. So, so, this is the circuit I told you right. Now, for balanced start delta, so V n against star case uh, angle 0 degree, V B n angle minus 20 degree and V C n V P angle 120 degree and we also know V A B is equal to V A B root 3 V P 30 degree. If you look into the circuit, if you look into the circuit right, it is your what you call that your V A B is equal to this one, just, just let me go up that here it is V a b small v small a b is equal to V capital A b. It is very simple because if you this is your this is your b and this is your a right. So, if it is if, if this is your V a b right this is your V a b and this point and this point same because no element nothing is connected here and this point is b. So, nothing is connected here. So, V a b is equal to V a b right. Similarly, for B c C a right. So, let me clear it. So, that means, my V A B is equal to V capital A B root 3 V B angle 30 degree same thing V B C also same thing root 3 V P angle minus 90 degree V C also V C A root 3 V P angle minus 210 degree. Now, I A B is equal to V A B upon Z delta because this is my circuit that means, this voltage your this voltage right uh, that your uh, V A B that is my V A B this voltage A to B and is equal to V A B right same voltage impress and this is my Z delta I A B. So, I A B is equal to V A B upon Z delta right for this phase right. So, same thing here we are writing same thing we are writing I A B is equal to V A B upon Z delta I B C is equal to V B C upon Z delta I C is equal to V C upon Z delta right. So, now, another way to get this uh, phase current is to apply K V L. For example, applying K V L around loop say A B B A N A right. I mean if you do so, if you apply your uh, your what you call K V L, then what you can do is what you can do is apply K V L in this loop, you apply K V L in this loop. In this case what will happen if I am coming like this this term say Z delta into I A B then encountering plus terminal first plus V B n then minus V n is equal to 0 right. That means, my I A B is equal to V A n minus V B n upon Z delta and we got no V A n minus V B n is equal to root 3 V P angle 30 degree we got it no same we will get it. So, that is why I A B we can write like this similarly for the other other means also we can do this. This is for one similarly for other two you can do it right. So, that means, here that is why we are writing this this one I A B is equal to V A N minus Z delta and that is actually nothing, but V A B we got it the phasor diagram by Z delta that is V capital A P upon Z delta. Similarly, for B C C A you will get it. So, line currents are obtained from the phase current by applying K C L at nodes I B C. I showed you at node A if you apply I A will be I, I A B minus I C A. I B will be I B C minus I A B. I showed you one uh, here you 
all these all these uh, your uh, here at node A, node B, node C, you apply KCL, and you will get this equation, right? You will get this equation. Similarly, IC is equal to ICA minus IBC. Now, IAB upon ICA, the IAB is equal to VAB upon Z, Z delta, and IC is equal to VCA upon Z delta. If you do so, IAB and IC will be VAB upon into Z, by Z delta into Z delta upon VCA. So, Z delta Z delta will be cancelled. So, IAB upon IC actually will be VAB upon VCA. It is very proportional to their like IAB phase current and ICA. It is just a same thing as the line to line voltage VAP upon VCA, right. So, IAB upon ICA is equal to VAB you write and VCA is equal to you know VAB angle minus 240 degree you substitute. So, VAB VAB will be cancelled therefore, ICA will be equal to IAB angle minus 24 to 240 degree. That means, also IBC similarly you will get IAB angle minus 120 degree you please do it for I you take your what you call IAB upon IBC you will get your same relationship minus 120 degree. This is very simple and uh, nothing is there just you just you put in that and step by step you will do you will get it right. Therefore, you will get IBC also IAB minus 120 degree it is balanced. So, in this case therefore, we know IA is equal to IAB minus ICA. So, IAB keep but ICA is equal to IAB angle minus to 40 degree you put here I C is equal to minus I A B angle your minus to 40 degree. If you simplify you will get I A is equal to root 3 I A B angle minus 30 degree. That means, line current is equal to root 3 time the phase current and angle is minus 30 degree right and magnitude wise line current is equal to I A I B I C that is line current magnitude and phase current I P is equal to mod I A B mod I B C mod I C is equal to phase current right. So, in this case this is my phase current. So, I L actually line current is equal to root 3 time phase current for delta connection right so, load. So, line current earlier we saw star connection your line your what you call uh, line voltage is equal to root 3 time phase voltage and for delta connected load line current is equal to your what you call going to that that is your root 3 time phase current. So, I L is equal to root 3 time phase current right. So, this is your just from one relationship you will get it rest you take that your 120 degree apart right. So, no need to do it just is a balance. So, you will see that it will be just 120 degree apart right. So, if you draw the phasor diagram this is my IAB, this is my IBC, this is my ICA this is my phase current and this is and IA is lagging IA is lagging from this phase current by minus 30 degree that is why this is IA 30 degree then IB then IC. Similarly, you draw just 120 degree apart between among your what you call between your line current as well as when you draw the phase current that all this phase current are 120 degree apart right. So, this is figure 15 and this is my phasor diagram right. Therefore, I A is equal to root 3 I B angle minus 30 degree, I B is equal to I A angle minus 120 degree and I C is equal to I A angle 120 degree right. So, this is actually our relationship that is line to voltage. So, there should not be any confusion any confusion right. So, so an alternative way of analyzing star delta circuit is to transform the delta connected load to an equivalent star connected load using the delta wise transformation this not much done because it is same as a DC circuit right I never wanted to make this thing much you know, lengthy. So, J star is equal to J delta by 3 if you do so then uh, after this transformation you have a star star system as in figure 10. So, this is uh, your what you call that you have a, if you convert delta to star it will be a star star system like your figure 10 we have given star source your star load. So, here it will be z y is equal to z delta by 3. Now, if you see this equivalent circuit like your single phase. So, this is v n this is i a and z y is equal to z delta by 3 right a simple as see as if it is a single phase it is balanced. So, represented by only phase a right. So, this allows to calculate only the line current right. So, star delta transformation or delta star transformation both are possible if you feel you can convert it to delta to star or star to delta. So, take a small example a balance A B C sequence that is star connected source with V n is equal to 100 angle 10 degree voltage connected to a delta connected balance load that is 8 plus J 4 ohm right per phase calculate the phase and line current look 
So, z delta is given 8 plus j 4 that is 8.944 angle 26.57 degree. Now, if the phase voltage V n is 100 angle 10 degree volt right, then the line voltage will be V a b is equal to V capital A b root 3 V n just now we have seen it is root 3 V n angle your 30 degree and V a b is equal to root 3 then it is 100 angle your V a n is equal to 100 angle 10 degree. So, root 3 100 angle 10 plus 30. So, 173.2 angle 40 degree volt right. Therefore, I a b that is the phase current V a b upon z delta. So, if substitute all these values you will get 19.36 angle 13.43 degree ampere rest are just shifting 120 degree right. So, I v c will be I a b angle minus 120 degree. So, it will be 19.36. So, 13.43 minus 120. So, it will be magnitude of current dimension same minus 106.57 degree ampere. Similarly, I c is equal to I a b angle minus 240 degree is equal to I a b angle 120 degree because it is minus 240. So, making it I a b 120 leading. So, that is 19.36, 13.43 plus 120. So, 19.36 is angle 133.43 degree ampere. Actually, these things are very simple. Just little bit to go through good book and just listen what uh, has been discussed here and nothing to be worried about this thing. It seems very simple 3 phase, right. So, this is ampere. So, line currents we know I A is equal to just now we have derived root 3 I A B minus angle minus 30 degree. So, substitute your all these things I A B you substitute. So, I A B is 19.36 angle was 13.43 degree minus 30 degree. So, it is I A is equal to this much right. Similarly, I B is equal to I A angle minus 120 degree you substitute I A value. So, I I B will be this much currents are same magnitude balance 33 for and angle is just your what you call if you take the difference of between these two angle you will find the minus 120 degree right it is ampere. Similarly, I c is equal to I a angle 120 degree you will get I c is equal to 33.53 angle 133.43 degree ampere right. So, this is your what you call this your um, uh, that example now exercise. So, this is your what you call this exercise is given to you, you will solve it that single one line means single line one line voltage the one line voltage of a balanced star connected source is given this one right. If the source is connected to a delta connected load of this much of impedance 20 angle 40 degree you have to find out the phase and line current assuming A B C sequence this is an exercise for you, but answer is not given right. So, you will do it. Now, next is balanced delta delta connection right. So, in the case of balanced delta delta connection your in the case of delta load and your delta source. So, in that case your line voltage and phase voltage remain same right. So, if it is it is a delta for delta delta connection this is whatever whatever your V a b will be impressed across this right. Similarly, V capital A b same because here for the delta connection your line voltage and phase voltage remain same right. So, here it is both both delta both delta right. So, this is your balance delta load is delta and source is also delta and philosophy remain same. Right. So, or z delta z delta is given right. So, and this is the line current I A I B I C this is the line current, but both are delta and these are the phase current I B I C I C. But for delta delta your what you call line your uh, line voltage is equal to phase voltage we will see that we will see that. So, our goal is to obtain the phase and line currents right. So, for delta connected source or load line voltage is equal to phase voltage because both are delta delta there is no question of neutral here no a n b n c n is all line to line. So, line voltage is equal to phase voltage right. So, it is line voltage is equal to phase voltage. So, V a b we know V p angle 0 V b c V p angle minus 120 degree and V c a V p angle 120 degree that and line voltage and phase voltage both are same. So, V l is equal to here it is written here V p is equal to V l here I have written here V p is equal to V l right. Therefore, V l angle 0 degree this one is equal to V l angle minus 120 degree and this one V l angle 120 degree because both are same. So, V a b is equal to V capital A b, V b c is equal to V capital B c, V c is equal to V capital C a here it is same thing here it is capital A capital B capital A capital B nothing is there in the line. So, V small a b is equal to V capital A b similarly for V b c and V c a right. So, hence the phase currents are simply I a b is equal to V a b upon z delta if you come to this circuit 
if you come to this circuit I A B is equal to V A B upon Z delta right here. So, similarly your I B C and I C A this is I B C is V B C upon Z delta I C is equal to V C A upon Z delta right. Therefore, applying K C L at nodes A B C similar same as before if you apply at node A B C K B A your K C L you will get I A is equal to I A B minus I C A. I B is equal to I B C is just when you will do this no just draw the circuit diagram first then you will listen to this uh, video lecture right I B then and you do of your own and I B is equal to I B C minus I A B and I C is equal to I C A minus I B C right. So, it is already shown earlier right each line current lacks the corresponding phase current by 30 degree this already we have shown it previous case. So, the magnitude I L of the line current is root 3 times the magnitude of the phase current because it is line current and then it is delta connected load. So, line current is equal to root 3 time phase current that we have done it I L is equal to root 3 into I P right. So, take a small example a balanced delta connected load having an impedance 20 minus J 15 ohm is connected to a delta connected source the voltage is 330 angle 0 degree that is V A V is given calculate the phase currents of the load and the line currents right. So, in this case Z delta is equal to 20 minus J 15. So, 25 angle minus 36.87 degree ohm. Since V A B is equal to V A B the phase currents are I A B is equal to V A B upon Z delta. So, you know V A B. So, put Z you will get this is the current 13.2 36.87 degree ampere right. Similarly, I B C you know the relationship I B angle minus 120 degree this I A B you substitute here you substitute here you will get this one 13.2 angle minus 83.13 ampere. Similarly, I C you will get I A B 120 degree. So, you will get 13.2 156.87 degree ampere and we know I line current is equal to root 3 time phase current angle minus this all we have derived little bit you have to keep it in your mind right little bit practice is necessary. So, if you do so you will get a value of I A I B I C magnitude same angles also if you take angle difference will be again 120 degree right magnitude is all 22.86 degree 86 ampere and these are the angle right. So, this is ampere 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 another another one is balance delta y connection in this case your what you call that uh, source is delta, but load is star. So, when load is star in this case line current is equal to phase current because same current is your what you call the same current I is going entering here right. So, line current is equal to your phase current right. So, but but your what you call this is voltage source uh, your what you call and this is a de your uh, delta source is delta. So, in e here also same philosophy will be there that uh, your phase voltage your line voltage will be root 3 time phase voltage and this current I A I B I C right and uh, this is capital N and this is Z Y Z Y Z Y source is delta and load is star, but here line current is equal to phase current right. So, but here line your what you call here phase voltage is equal to line voltage by root 3 because line voltage is equal to root 3 time phase voltage right rest will remain same. So, this is the circuit diagram and all polarity are instantaneous polarity I told you how to mark it. So, that means V A B is equal to same thing we have done V P angle 0 degree V B C is equal to V P angle minus 120 degree and V C A is equal to V P angle 120 degree. So, V L angle 0 degree V L angle minus 120 degree V L angle 120 degree. Now, apply K V L to loop this one right. So, what you will get? So, if you apply your K, K I mean this one if you apply your um, this uh, uh, here, here if you apply K V L here if you apply K V L here it will be I A into Z Y right. So, and current this is I A flowing this, but this current is going this way. So, it will be minus I B into Z Y and it is encountering minus terminal first. So, minus A B is equal to 0 right. This way you can write that that equation we have written here that equation we have written here I A Z Y minus I B Z Y minus V A B is equal to 0. That means, I A minus I B is equal to V A B upon Z Y. That means, I A minus I B is equal to V P angle 0 because V A B is V P angle 0 right uh, Z Y is equal to V L angle 0 by your Z Y right. 
So, here it is given that V A V is equal to V P angle 0 is equal to your line voltage right V L angle 0. So, this is upon Z Y I A minus I B, but I B lacks I A by 120 degree we know that that I B lacks 120 degree simply substitute I B is equal to I A minus 120 degree you put it here and you simplify if you simplify you will get I A is equal to V P upon root 3 divided by angle minus 30 degree by Z Y. So, line voltage your V P as your what you call it is that that can be written as V L upon root 3 angle minus 30 degree upon Z Y. Here we have written no, here we have written that your V A B is equal to V L angle 0, V L angle minus 120, V L angle minus your uh, sorry plus 120 degree right. So, similarly here also you write V L by root 3 angle minus 30 upon Z Y right, uh, Z uh, star or Z Y. That means, similarly your I B is equal to I A angle minus 120 degree, this I A you substitute here, this I A you substitute here, you will get V L by root 3 angle minus 150 by Z Y. Similarly, I C is equal to 1 angle I, I, I A your 20 degree. So, put I A is equal to here, you will get V P upon root 3 angle J, uh, divided by Z Y at angle 90 degree. So, V L upon root 3 angle 90 degree upon Z Y right. So, uh, this all the thing is that you have to remember nothing to be this thing very simple it is right because it phase difference is just 120 degree lagging or leading right and just you have to simplify and here we have to look at phase voltage your what you call for delta source phase voltage and line voltage remain same for delta source I mean if it is a delta source is phase and line same so phase voltage is equal to line voltage for the delta source right when source is delta line voltage is equal to phase voltage that is why here it is taken line voltage is equal to phase voltage that is why all these things is replaced by phase voltage because source is delta right. So, line voltage is equal to phase voltage this certain things you have to keep it in your mind right. So, I mean if you try to represent this by your what you call whatever you have got say for phase a for phase a right if you see that I a is equal to V L upon root 3 angle minus 30 upon Z y. So, if you represent it by your your uh, your V A B upon root 3 angle minus 30 there is nothing but V L upon root 3 minus 30 degree and this is your Z Y this is the current flowing I A. So, I A will be simply V L upon root 3 Z Y angle minus 30 degree. but this is equal to this one huh? because V A B is nothing but the V L. So, this is represented by only one phase right. So, this we also can represent. So, similarly if you draw the phasor diagram this is your V A B this is V B C this is V C A. So, if you try to find out uh, if you try to find out this thing your what you call uh, if you try to make this delta. So, this is my V A B this all 120 degree 120 this is my V C A. So, this is my V B C no. So, just just let me clear it this diagram actually it will be like this this is my V B C. So, this is my V B C is drawn from here this is V B C and this is my V C A. So, this is my V C A this one. So, this is my V C A and this is my V B C and this is V that is why this is my V B C whatever is here that is my V A B and this is my V C A just we have made complete this triangle and if you join all it will be same actually this is my say some no something is marked this point as N right. So, this is figure 21 and if you do so if you do so this angle is 30 degree right and your V A N your what you call V A N is nothing, but your V P, V B N also V P, V S all the uh, your what you call all this your um, uh, magnitude. So, that means, this one this V A B right V A B this is actually this portion actually V A B by 2 this half it is equilateral triangle. So, V A B by 2 is equal to this is V A N this is actually V P right, because this is the magnitude V A N. So, this is V A N is equal to V P right. So, it is V P then cos 30 degree right V A B by 2 is equal to V P cos 30 degree right. That means, that means this one actually your V A N cos 30 is equal to V A B by 2 magnitude only right. So, V P by 2 is equal to V L by 2 from this diagram only right magnitude we took. So, that means your B or what you call mod V N is equal to V L upon root 3 cos 30 your what you call root cos 30 is equal to root 3 by 2. So, uh, your what you call that your phase voltage is equal to V L by root 3 is equal to uh, your uh, line voltage by root 3 
otherwise line voltage is equal to root 3 times phase voltage. Therefore, we can write V n is equal to V l upon root 3 angle minus 30 degree right. So, so that means your this is that means this is my V n right. So, it is in this direction V n that means this is my say just as a reference I am putting this is V n if I make it right because this is this direction. So, V n will lag from V b by minus 30 degree. So, that is why that is why your V n is equal to V l upon root 3 angle minus 30. So, V p upon root 3 angle minus 30 degree similarly for V b n and similarly for V c n. That means, if you plot it here. So, I mean this is my your what you call V n, V b n, V c n if you plot it here. So, in this case it will be your what you call V n right. So, this is my V n same as before same as before right earlier it was shifting 30 degree, but it rotated by 30 degrees V n right same as before. So, this is then V b n is equal to V p upon root 3 angle minus 140 30, uh, 50 and V c n will be again V p upon root 3 angle 90 degree right. So, this is your what you call and V a n is equal to your I a into Z y that is V l upon root 3 angle minus 30 is equal to V p upon root 3 angle minus 30 degree because source uh, uh, delta uh, correction source line voltage is equal to phase voltage. So, we know V b n is equal to V n angle because angle minus 120 degree because it lags by 120 degree just those relationship we have to use and if you put V n here and this V c n is equal to V n 120 degree. So, this is your what you call if you substitute V n is equal to V p by root 3 here it will be V p by root 3 angle minus 150 degree and if you make it here your V n is equal to V p upon root 3 angle minus 30 it will be V p upon root 3 angle 90 degree right. So, with this thank you very much we will be back again.